Hello boys and girls, this is Mrs. Gunter, and today I'm going to be doing a read aloud called Sea Otters, and you're going to use this book for writing today. This book is by Laura Marsh. She's the author. It's a sea otter. What dives and plays in the water all day? What floats on its back when it eats a snack? What has a flat tail but is not a whale? A sea otter. What is a sea otter? Sea otters are mammals. They live in the cold Pacific Ocean. So here's the globe of the world, and it's labeling the Pacific Ocean on the eastern coast of the United States. And then it has a definition an otter word. Mammal, an animal that feeds its baby milk. It has a backbone and it is warm-blooded. Otters are fun to watch. They like to play with each other. They dive and splash. Today's focus will be captions. So right here you'll notice there's a photograph and underneath it, in little print, there are some words that talk about the picture. Sometimes sea otters live in zoos or aquariums. They might have been hurt or sick in the wild. Otters get help there. So captions are words that tell about the picture in the nonfiction book. Life in the sea. Sea otters live close to shore. They find small animals to eat there. Sea otters dive to the ocean floor. They swim through kelp forests. They need lots of food and clean water to live. And our otter word is kelp, a kind of large seaweed that has a long stalk. It can grow into underwater forests. And down here, there's another nonfiction feature we've been talking about, which is kelp. It's labeling the picture. So as we read this book, we're gonna think about the labels that we see in the book. Built for hunting. A sea otter's body is perfect for hunting in the water. Here's a perfect example of some labels. There's lines that go directly to the body parts of the animal, and it tells about it. So it says here, tail, it helps steer the otter through the water. Back legs, there are webbed like flippers. They help the otter swim and dive. Fur, thick fur keeps the otter warm. Body, a long body helps the otter glide through the water. Front paws, they feel and grab for food. Mouth, a sh Sharp teeth tear off bits of food. Nostrils, they, cl they close under water to keep the water out. Hmm, that's like the ho little holes in your nose. That's interesting. Eyes, good eyesight helps the otter find food. So there's some labels. They're kind of like captions too because they give a little information. Snack time. Ooh, these are labels. Scallop, shrimp, squid, sea urchin, crab. Sea otters eat small animals. They eat more than 40 different kinds. They munch on clams, crabs, squid, urchins, and other animals. Sea otters have favorite foods just like you. Sea otters eat their meals above the water. They lie on their backs. They use their stomachs as plates. But they don't use a knife and a fork. Sea otters use rocks to crack, to crack open hard shells. So here is another caption, which tells about this photo right here of the sea otter. A sea otter cracks open the shell to eat the animal inside. Hmm. Great caption for that picture. And here's a little question answer on top. What is an otter's favorite science topic? and it says it up, um, the upside down. The answer is otter space. <laughs> Scrub it up. Do you like to stay clean? Sea otters do. 
They groom themselves for hours every day. They scrub their faces and bodies with their paws. They also somersault, twist, and turn. This washes food scraps off their bodies. Their fur must stay clean to be warm. Here's another otter word, groom. Means to clean by scrubbing, licking, or biting. Dogs groom themselves too, and so do cats. Fuzzy fur. It's hard to stay warm in cold water, but a sea otter's fur is up to the job. It is thicker than any other animal's fur. The fur has two layers. The outside layer keeps the cold water out, and the inside layer stays warm and dry. Ready for a little Q&A? What did the teacher say to the otters causing trouble? Go on. Get after here. Get out of here. Another cute little joke. Here's some fun facts. Six cool facts about sea otters. Sometimes sea otters hold hands. Well, pause. Number two. Sea otters can hold their breath for about five minutes. Most people can't do this for more than one minute. Number three. They are members of the weasel family. Huh, I didn't know that. Weasels are land animals, but otters are similar, but they're water animals. Fact number four. They eat 10 pounds or more of food each day. This gives, gives them energy to swim and hunt. Fact number five. They are the smallest sea mammals in the world. Hmm. And number six, sea otters have their own pockets. They put food in a pouch under each front leg while hunting. And this little label points to their, where their pouches are. Playful pups. Baby sea otters are born in the water. They are called pups. Pups are about two feet long at birth. That's about as long as two cereal boxes. And I see a caption. Down here it says a mother otter often floats with her pup on her chest. So that caption is talking about this photo. The mother teaches her pup how to swim, dive, and roll. But she does the hunting until the pup is older. A mother may wrap her pup in kelp when she dives. Then the pup will stay in one place while she is away. So cute. Taking it easy. Mm, I think this is gonna talk about how they might relax. Sea otters live in groups called rafts. The groups are usually all boys or all girls. They spend lots of time together. They rest, groom, and eat. Otters and rafts often wrap themselves in kelp too. They may sleep like this side by side. So here's a picture of them laying in kelp. Here's our Q&A. What is the first thing sea otters learn in school? They're A, B, C's. Get it? Just like the ocean, but C's. Watching out for otters. Scientists are busy studying sea otters. They want to know how otters live and eat. They want to learn about otters that have gotten sick or hurt too then they can help them. Scientists do know that pollution hurts sea otters. Keeping, the, keeping pollution out of the ocean helps sea otters to stay healthy. Here's our otter word, our definition. Pollution. Pollution is dangerous material that makes the water, air, or soil dirty. So like if people litter or oil gets in the water, those are all things that are considered pollution. Even smoke in the air or smog from factories. Here's a caption about this picture down here. A scientist weighs a sea otter at the Monterey Bay Aquarium. So that's what this picture is all about. What in the world? These pictures show close-up views of sea otter things. Use the hints below to figure out what's in the pictures. The answers are on page 31. Number one, hint. 
An animal that sea otters like to eat. What is this animal? Hmm. Take your guess. Number two. Here's your hint. Sea otters live here. Number, oh, and here's our word bank. Don't forget about the word bank up here to help you. Hint, this keeps sea otters warm in cold water. And number four, this is a picture of a kind of tall seaweed. What is that? Number five, these are used to grab food. And number six, they tear off bits of food. So what would this be a picture of? All right, let's go to the next page. These are some cards that give us the definitions of the words, kind of like a glossary in a book. So it gives you what the word groom means, to clean by scrubbing, licking, or biting. It gives you the meaning of the word kelp, a kind of large seaweed that has a long stalk. It can grow into underwater forests. Then there's the definition for mammal, an animal that feeds its baby milk. It has backbone and it is, um, it gives live birth. And pollution, dangerous material that makes the water, air, or soil dirty. So we're done reading the book. I just want to go back for one second and tell you the answers to these. An animal that sea otters like to eat is squid. Number two, sea otters live here. Well, that's the ocean. This keeps otters warm, otters warm in cold water. Number three, that's fur. Number four, a kind of tall seaweed that's called kelp. Number five, these are used to grab food, and that's their paws. And number six, these are used to tear off bits of food. So we're all done with our book today. And after this, you're going to have a lesson from me again, and we're going to be looking through the book Sea Otters, and we're going to be looking for captions and labels. That's our nonfiction features that we're looking for today.